Hey, welcome back to another episode of Night in the Woods. We're gonna go ahead and start off by checking our laptop. Is there... okay. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed that in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. So far, like... Throughout the game, like, B has become, like, nicer and nicer. Um, so that's good. Hey, dude, sorry. Couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice today, yeah. Or, t yeah. to yeah. <laughs> because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Let's go see if our mom's in a better mood. Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why, why don't ya? Mom sees Sim's in a better mood. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Today was gray and drizzly in the real world. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't see us to- I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Da da da. I'm really sorry, mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it all together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Gosh, Mom. Talk about school later. Always gotta know about my business. Selmers! How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up crap that I think was re real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. That sounds awesome. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, please. I need a Selmer's poem. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as autumn sins? What's considered an autumn crime? Cheating on your wife. With some gas station skank. <laughs> Dang. In November. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a... Inconsiderate. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I know it's like pretty uh rainy. Wait, how do I get up here? I forgot. Wait, yeah. How do I get up there? I didn't forget how to play the game. I actually had to rewatch one of my old, older YouTube videos to see how I can climb up back up here. I don't forgot. There we go. Oh, and I just ruined it. Let's see. Do we have any more? Oop, that's the wrong thing. Miss May Borowski, present. Hmm. Smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to mess up. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yes, I do. Come have a look. <clears throat> ah, I'm blind. This is your own fault I, at this point, I would say.
Found one. Let's see. Ooh, a snake with arrows in it. Big snake. Big snake. Yep. Anything else? <laughs> Big snake emerged from the earth and made a war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake, and they came together, and together slew the big snake. You earn. Why did the big snake attack the people? Do you have any sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know. But can we just keep can can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> That's funny. Start located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gamercy, the medium. And life, he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did- wait, yeah. Not so. His body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like, normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. <laughs> Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the normal? <laughs> But that is our pair for the day. Well, gee, uh, Willikers, Mr. Chazikov. Beh, <laughs> Willikers. Wow, that was pretty great. Yeah, it was. More in a couple days? Of course. I love it when people say, like, old words, like, gee, Willikers. And then, like, britches or trousers. Or, like, commode. <laughs> <laughs> commode is just such a funny word. Like, hey, you gotta go through the commode before we leave. Alright, um, probably gonna go see Gregory. Let's, let's actually go to the video outpost too. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess we're night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. I miss video stores. Whoa. Is this some. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, Pizza Place. Yeah, like, I miss Blockbuster, which that was, like, the only, um, video store that we had in our area, I believe. So we didn't have, like, a Hollywood video or any, like, mom-and-pop, um, video store. Not that I know of, I just knew we had Blockbuster. What's up, dude? Uh, uh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at a brack. I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. Wanna, uh, what you up to? Just saying hello. We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> hey, Germ. I don't really see much of you. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. Only fan? I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Alright guys, y'all ready to see me fail miserably? Hey dude, 
You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. The roof door. Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out on the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this sh crap. Pumpkinhead guy. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'm doing so bad. I'm switching to computer or a uh, keyboard. Oh, my gosh, no. That was so bad. Like, they are just making this hard. Wow, mate, that was uh, pretty bad as what it was. I literally do not know this song. Woo, so fast. You just pushed a button. Dot. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also I think it was in my head after while sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. <laughs> so we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. <clears throat> Such as... Does this new paper... Does this new paper... Does this newspaper have like a ghost section what why is that dumb why is that a dumb question you know we could like go check the library for books about it no they have the local paper on file going back a century if there's some secret history of a kidnapper ghost we'll probably find it there probably oh wow I didn't even know they had that I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books When's the last time you were at a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and question mark. Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. <clears throat> Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Lul. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was a painted, 
when, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Oops. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the manif microfish is? Microfiche. Or whatever it is. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. I assume we get on this computer. Looks like someone left something on, uh, open in this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience. Mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? No. Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You're gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Verity. It does look really care. <laughs> it does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. And when they like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask, that's not okay. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was like, or it was talking forever about like being kind to others and like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. <laughs> that sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Pl Plonko fix his hovercraft. Oh no, that was the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Nightmarity. <laughs> Charity Barity, I just don't care. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess we go back into the elevator? Because that was the second floor. We need to go to the third floor. We're moving so slowly. Going up. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. <sighs> Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it or something while carrying something all oh, right well that's even more impressive so we're gonna find this guy because he looks he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good <clears throat> that all sounded a lot more b bad crap <laughs> bad booty in my head it's okay it was fine All right, there she is. Cool. So, <laughs> I have no idea how to use it, really. 
I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but that was ex at, but that what I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? I cannot read. This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to do at least a to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you butthole. Aw. Uh, are we friends, B-Twist? Here, <laughs> let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb booty is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I need- or I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, man. Da da da. I'm sorry. Da da da. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do that? What, what? Yeah. Uh, step one. Look at the screen. Step two. Move around and look at stuff. Step three. Find ghosts. Sure. Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about ghosts. Ooh, look. Scooch Selexi. Graveyard. That's a, cr that's a crime. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where... Who <laughs> the grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? That is, like, actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghost or history? History that won't stay history. Ha ha ha, that's actually pretty good. This one? No ghost. Hey, look at this one. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in, at the state park, right? Yeah. I've been up there. Nope. Gonna catch it out through... I'm going to check it out though. Go nuts. Oh, wow, this one's gnarly and awesome. Ha ha ha. Oh my god.
Hey, hey, hey. Go spotted. Histor historical society? History that won't stay history. Is in a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school. I think uh, this was when I was in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just uh, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool and old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. What's Boogie? What's Boogie? Also, is that it? Yeah. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a ghost detective, a, a detective of ghost. <clears throat> alright, alright, let's go. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but... <clears throat> I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. <laughs> I didn't choose to be born into the society. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all this, to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyways. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey nerd, ever heard of history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Hey, it's Summers. Ahem. <clears throat> what is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was like always kind of a bad booty. Since district did not fund that art program at all, her school dif school district didn't fund the art program at all. But she did. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Oh wow! I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the society Opossum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Um, not really. We got stuff to do. Public poetry performance should probably be outlawed. When have you ever seen one? School, old roommate. You've never mentioned your old roommate. She's, just an, she's an entire story unto herself. Excuse me, what are you two saying? If so, uh... Or are you two staying? If so, would you like to have uh, your conversation up here? No to both. We're not big into rhyming everything we say. Poetry doesn't have to rhyme. This uh, That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Oh, well, I didn't want to be, like, mean, because, I mean, Selmer's just right there. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. <laughs> That's true. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. No, or not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filed with, like... Dread and crap. I'm terrified. Okay. So I mentioned three different places we call or we can all check out. Uh, I have to work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. 
you gotta skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can like split this up. Sharing custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I can I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Da -da -da -da. Sure is a historical society. You know you don't have to break like break in. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? <laughs> possum jump. That or question mark? I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. He's so happy. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Hey, Dad. Erg. You seem like the that some. You seem yeah. Yeah, seems like some. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yippers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you were two were getting along. We were. But we talked out about it. I just hate to see you two in the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Okay. Let's see, did we get anything? Yes, we did. Let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I sound or it. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't have or don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyways, and it's like right down the road. You're running this, running this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just, it's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Well. Oh. Yeah, I looked up the Hist Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but then they uh, did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and there then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. On a pools would be actually pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm getting to bed. I'm going to bed. Hey man, let me know when you want to do want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight shot from or up to possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get to get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tap sap. Milady, milady. <laughs> that time. No? Yes. Alright, here we go.
Whoa. Some cool looking fish. Check online. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. A way message. Planets are to be pitied, pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. <laughs> uh, no, good morning. Hey, it's mom. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little, you look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. Need taking headache meds? They're in the back, bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need some more sleep. I mean, more than 10 hours or so you got already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? I went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. 
Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You you really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Bye, mom. Alright, we've already done... Oh, wait, no. Uh, we gotta go to the graveyard with B. Selmers, wanna hear a new poem? Yes, I do. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that's so that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. Oh, that was it? Okay. Let's go see if we can um do some star hunting with Mr. Chazikov. Hey, somebody on the roof. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move anyways? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better than where you live now? It's nice. Boston Springs is nice, too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yep, pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh geez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I lived in the attic. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we, we had this talk. Me too. See ya. Oh, he's not here. Hmm. I guess we better come back tomorrow. Hey B. Hey May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh cool. But also maybe it might have consequences. We could take the uh, insurance money and like not do this. What if you get caught? I saw the show where they caught someone doing that. Da da da. You're gonna burn this place down for me. Oh cool. But also maybe I'd go to jail. <laughs> nah, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Uh... Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. <laughs> okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. The graveyard. Foggy. And I always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. 
I get really sad because it's not here year round. Well, there's a statue. Ooh, also spooky. I think you're like actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. Da da da. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Now, any ghost stories? <laughs> there are no any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a crap. Or they're actually making it worse. Out of spider profit. Whoa, jeez. I mean, like, a skeleton or something. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's got a knife. He's a, he's a pharmaceutical CEO. What? And he jacked up the prices of meds that keep people from dying. Um, and he's a skeleton. Oh yeah, skeleton CEO with a knife. <laughs> All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really scary or boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to do? be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I think a glass. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back in school. Back at school. That's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up, up here then. Let's check out a uh, grave uh, three. Hmm, standard has done nothing fancy. Clearly re religious. Can't be can't really be sad about this. She had a really good run. Life if like or like if life was an arcade game. This will be on the high score screen. Dang, taken by the flu. Aw oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Oh, hey. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you doing? Uh, what you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visit her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk, uh, talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel? Do you get spooked at, uh, out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. 
Doesn't take the spook out of the place. Does the job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Uh, I'm a wooden DJ on the side. <laughs> awesome. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Welp, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Awesome. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. Oh yeah, I bet it was like... He was racing to his sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town. And he took a dangerous curve too fast and went flying off a cliff. And his last words whispered into, into the rain in midair were, Actually, I love my bike more, please. But put it uh, in my grave, okay? Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Take talk, Beatrice. We got places to be. Oh crap, I'm a jerk. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried about? You know how we've uh, been hanging, having St. Cole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyways, my mom per buried, uh, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're, ju you're worried the ground's gonna like cave in? The part of sinkhole is difficult to understand. We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where we're. They should make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill, and like voices. Huh, that's a uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> no, my gosh. Oh, weary travelers. You see canters among the dead, but they shall give you none. Ha ha ha, oh wow. Hey guys. Do you know these kids? Ha ha, yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting on front in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions, truthfully, what? Uh, and you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? Done it? Done? It? You heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer. Actually, she, uh, I read, like, the Night in the Woods wiki or whatever like that. May is actually a virgin. Nah, never got around to it. And you? Yeah. Wait, or what? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really, how did I not know this? This was where, this is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this? Or who, who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fun. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. 
Yeah, don't you want to ask me something like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or girl, but they'd have to be like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle, you're gonna, so you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. <laughs> That's actually really sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. Ha ha ha. That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high. One time in, one time in high school. I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was like awkward and I want I had to wear a dress <clears throat> and I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up by I screwed it up and drew blood. You bet him? How bad did you miss the mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth, and I, I overdo it, and he starts choking and like fighting back, and I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. <laughs> from where? I sold them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I like plowing through these almonds, and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole was like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give him I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver and it works but but I puke all over Cole. Chicken corn dew cor, cor cordon blue. This is amazing. Right. And someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking and me puking into the sink. So I like uh, so I pull all the paper towels out from Cole's mouth and for some reason I think to flush them down a the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grabbed Cole and put him out of the bathroom. Pulled him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How'd you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house. Car slowing down and honking. While I'm in the back crying my eyes out. <clears throat> that was seriously messed up. May I, I, I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it now. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna talk that. You have, you have come face to face with your lowest moments. You may pass unbur unburdened, unburdened. Yeah, for real. Okay, let's let us pass already. The tower to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing heck? You may go. Gosh darn it. Go to heck, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it, let's go. So like, ghosts. Ghosts. Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. <clears throat> so you know how you've been, you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't super believe that it's not just dreams, but obviously it's dreams. <clears throat> okay, that's certainly your take on it, but like, did you ever see my mom? Nah. I mean, I can't really tell. 
and I don't know, I don't think the guys were like people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of crap that that happened and people that were here. I don't know. Uh, trust me, none of the people, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as heck. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news that we're locked out, but by the big, big booty gate. Uh, why make a giant gate around a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop whatever what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right. Well, I'm not climbing up. Go do your thing. My thing. You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and crap. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hey, I'll, I'll be back. There's no way I'm gonna leave thee behind, uh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those corny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Hmm, I have an idea. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anybody's back here. And it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. You see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna find... I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock it... Not, I'm gonna knock on, on it until he does. You're not allowed to do- You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. I know that I'm recording, like, a really long episode. But since it's... October 29th, almost the 30th, I need to get these videos out, because I want to do it at least... Uh, I want to be able to do this, like, um... At least finish the last episode on Halloween or something like that. Or have the last episode uploaded on Halloween. Joe Shade. Yeah, that's him. Ground, ground here. Here's all swampy. Uh, gross. So what do we need to do here? Um, I guess, um, I guess I'm gonna just look around. For a ghost. Uh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had Tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No B. You'd know. I'd say. Haha, uh -huh, okay, okay. <laughs> I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. <laughs> In a graveyard. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse thing cough or horse sized coffin. Imagine. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. 
Is is that where you're, you're expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this crap up. Whoa, dude. Hold up now. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Okay, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So we're gonna open it up, right? No, we're not going to open a coffee. coffin with a rotting corpse on it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Geez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of at least curious, at least? I don't know, but yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it, I'm standing here. Okay, okay. I'll count to three. Okay, one, two, three. Slowly moving. Oh gosh. Ah! That was foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? But there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, geez. <laughs> oh crap. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost was a dude? Da da da. Okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating what was ruining his graveyard. How do you know, th uh, how do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Rah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Uh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, we're at night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? I'm always running and climbing around under all the all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. I did. <laughs> hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating your grilled cheese. What's up? I'm sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you would normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean... What's a grave uh, defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. B. What? He was, like, right there. 
It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyways? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay. I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was just fo it was so foggy or he'd actually be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry, I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude went to, uh, dude went to the cemetery. I mean, I accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know, what I mean. Whoa. And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Might be on the right track. He was probably pissed that you messed with the, his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Job on like all of that. Good job on all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as heck, brah. Good night as F. <laughs> Bedtime. No? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. You can't live in the bed. Bedtime. No? Yes. Ooh. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So. Seconds echo little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me and I am not this god. And this god is nowhere. Well, you can't see god. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. Da da da. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you doing? What are all those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost up. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. Tear. And now they are gone. I know you are here. What? Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, 
and beyond are the things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh, wow. It's like fleas. Ah. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars and I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe has, is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about the trees and the... Okay. Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are a monstrous existence. And why am I here, gosh darn it? Why, am, why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. There is. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Goodbye. I just got an achievement called Echoes. I'm a message plants. Okay. Warning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude. At the oldest Nalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Okay, so I'm going to end it off right here. I'm probably not even going to edit this episode, even though I really should. But for time's sake, because like, it is almost October 30th. Um, just got to you know, get this video out. And uh, yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.